Hi guys, welcome back to Mr. Coffee Review. I'm your host, Mr. Coffee. Today I'm taking a look at another coffee, and this is something that my dad actually brought back from his business trip down in New Orleans. And I'm reviewing New Orleans famous French Market Premium French Roast Coffee for all coffee makers. Net weight is 13 ounces or 368 grams. On the side here, it says, Down in New Orleans, a city well known for its rich culture and fine cuisine, American Coffee Company has blended and roasted coffee beans since 1890 for over 100 years. American Coffee Company brings to you yet another classic blend of Central and South American coffee beans. Our beans are slow roasted to the optimum degree for the perfect extraction of body and flavor. Suggested recipe. Directions. Follow your coffee maker's directions or use six fluid ounces of cold water for each serving and the following amounts of coffee. One serving is one tablespoon. Ten servings is one half measuring cup or eight tablespoons. Thirty servings is one and one half measuring cups. Forty-five servings is two and one quarter measuring cups. Use more or less coffee to suit your taste. Refrigerate contents to help preserve flavor. No, don't refrigerate your coffee beans. Um, I cannot stress that enough from the experience that I've had with refrigerating. What, and I've expressed my views on this in a previous video, my how-to video on storing your coffee. What happens is, at least what I've experienced, is when the, you store your coffee in the refrigerator, moisture from the fridge gets into the bean, into the beans or the ground coffee, whichever you're storing, and mildews producing a very acrid flavor. And I was not feeling too good after I had a couple cups of coffee that had been restored in the fridge. So in my opinion it is not a wise idea to store your coffee in the fridge um, and I go into more detail about different storing methods in the previous video so the first thing in the morning I'm reading this bit right here it says just the first thing in the morning visit today's special on our website www.frenchmarketcoffee.com French Market 100% pure coffee Riley Foods Company 640 Magazine Street New Orleans Louisiana 70130 the phone number is 1-800-535-1961 and again the website is www.frenchmarketcoffee.com Oh, um, just to um, expand on that a little bit about the refrigerator, I do realize that there are some people who prefer storing it in the fridge, and that's fine. If you prefer doing it, by all means, keep doing it. But these, are, you know, I just prefer not to store it in the fridge. Um, so. Oh, and on the top here it says since 1890, 100% Arabica pure coffee. And again, there's the website. Um, let's go ahead and open this. Now, when I was trying to initially open this can, there was no tab. And I was like, oh great, how am I going to do this? And Dad said that this is the old, it was the old way um that they make the coffee cans in which you actually have to use a can opener which I thought that was pretty interesting uh, let's go ahead and smell this um, this is very uh, peppery I get a very sweet uh, red pepper top note with a little bit of a black pepper on the background no earthiness, no woodsiness, no really any dark uh, aromas. Just a very, very rich red sweet pepper on the forefront and on the back front. Or, well, not back front, that's not a word. And on the background, uh, more of a black pepper. And when I first opened this, um, the initial aromas triggered in my nostrils smoked bacon which I thought was interesting 
It's nice. I like it. Let's go ahead and smell this after I've brewed this. Hmm. Not much there, really. Um, I can still pick up some of that pepperiness. But I'm not really picking up any more smells. I mean, it just kind of has a very weak aroma. I mean, really, there's not much there. Let's, let's go ahead and taste it. taste that again. Um, I do get a metallic taste and of course that has to do with the fact that this is stored in metallic tin. Um, there's not really much there. nothing really that noticeable um it's okay um to me it tastes more of a generic like a generic coffee just straight coffee flavor there's nothing um there's nothing that noticeable about it really i'm not picking out any different flavor nuances or anything um, I mean, I'm just not that impressed with it. One thing I do like is it's not high in acidity. I do like that. Um, it has a little bit of a bitterness to it. Not terrible, though. kind of a uh, charred flavor to this but I'm really not sure how else I could describe this because it's pretty much just like drinking just a straight coffee and I think this would be something more something that you're you would want to drink like with a pastry uh, just to have the coffee complement the sweetness of the pastry I don't think this is really something meant to be uh, drank on its own I would qual I would uh, label this more as a coffee house kind of thing where you know you just buy a donut or something and dr have this to drink with it um, because there's really not much going on with this not a whole lot of actions not a lot of action so overall ratings on this eh, I'm not really that impressed with it it's okay I'm really not that impressed um, I've had coffees where and see I like a bigger flavor profile and that's part of why I'm not that impressed I like to have coffees that have all sorts of different flavors that come in and go and you know like have a mixture of maybe some chocolate and some fruitiness and maybe a little bit of a tart citrus and you know just a mixture of things and this one is just flat just a basic flavor so that's why I'm not really that impressed with it. So overall ratings, uh, just I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 just for the fact that there's really not much going on with this. Is it good? Yes. If you like 
coffee that doesn't have very much flavor changes and just is just straight basic coffee flavor then go ahead and if you go down to New Orleans go ahead and pick some of this up or I'm you know I'm sure you can buy it online but um yeah so like I said overall ratings five out of ten uh, that's all for this video if you have any comments or questions or if there are any coffees or teas you would like to see me review please let me know down below in the comment section I will catch you all on the next one later